Good morning, YouTube. This is uh, the second uh, video in regards to some of the California fires that are going on. We actually just had, I believe, some new fires spring up, which is just, it's just bizarre. I, I don't know. It's cold. It's December. I mean, it's been windy, but, you know, who knows? Let's just move past why the fires are here, and they're here. So, the one I was talking about yesterday was the Thomas fire. Um, there's not a good map for this fire. I don't know why. Um, there are some good fire maps online. Um, in fact, let me see if I can find one real quick. Fire incident. Yeah, I mean, just look at all these evacuations. It's insane. This I'm on the fire.ca.gov website. Burned 65,000 acres, 12,000 structures, threatened. Um, all these cities, uh, mandatory evacuations in these certain areas. Um, let's look at the evacuation map real quick. Um, yeah, so let me just... Oh, God, why did it have to open this in browsers? I hate browsers. They're so freaking terrible. Just drives me crazy. Because you can't freaking zoom in. And this is actually a really high res map <laughs> for some reason. So it's from the Office of Emergency Services. That was nice of them. All right, fire perimeter as of the 5th of December at 1900 or 7 o'clock p.m. So that's yesterday at 7 p.m. So mandatory evacuation is dark orange, voluntary is dotted slightly lighter orange. So. Wow. Wow, that's north, huh? Weird. Oh, I know why this is north, because most of Ventura, why this map looks weird, most of Ventura is sort of south of this, so they've really put Ventura sort of on the south part of this map, because this is the big mountain range right above Ventura. So here you can see the big fire threatening the communities on the north side of the hill, um, as well as on Ventura side. Um, and this fire just kind of trying to creep out into all this developed area. A lot of the stuff on the hill is undeveloped, but as you can tell, a lot of the stuff at the edge is developed. Um, so yeah, that's an enormous, enormous fire that grew to that size within a couple of days. Um, just just unbelievable growth on that fire so that is the Thomas fire um, we have the rye fire which has been a little bit harder to get information of this signal signal csv.com um, I don't know if that's like Southern California Valley oh, Santa Clarita Valley okay so the signal Santa Clarita Valley has a really good page on the Rye Fire. I don't see any maps, and even the incident site didn't have a map. The uh, like the incident web state site or whatever. Um, these guys uh, did not have a map of the Rye Fire, if I recall. So I don't know who's in charge of emergency services for the Rye Fire. But they got to get their act together because there are people who could benefit from a map, um, you know, in a very serious way. Wow, I wonder if the server's slow because everyone's clicking on it. So that's another fire. And then we have the, and this isn't even all the fires. Where's the map of all the fires? This one. So this is the Thomas fire up in Ventura. We have the Rye fire, which is up at Highway 5, and I do believe Highway 5 has been closed temporarily as a result of this. Um, we also have the Creek Fire, which is up here, 11,000 acres, okay? That is an enormous fire. It is threatening 210, all up and down it, you know, freeways sort of act as natural fire breaks. 
Of course, it's looking to break out into Los Angeles National Forest, and if left unchecked, would probably burn the entire forest down. Um, you know, I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, once, once this is lit, you know, this is already going. If that spreads all the way north, because we get a lot of winds, you know, from the ocean, so this could spread potentially to this whole area, and then it would just go all the way across. Um, you know, scary, scary stuff. And of course, with all this, uh, with all this development, you know, Pasadena and Burbank and La Cañada and San Fernando, if the fire is unchecked in the southern direction, it'll keep creeping along this border, and then you know, it's just north of Los Angeles. So, you can see here, kind of scary stuff that if this fire went unchecked and this fire went unchecked we would have potentially a fire that wanted to spread between here and then move down into Los Angeles depending on where the winds go um, you know if we didn't fight these fires they would basically just you know who knows how much they would burn or if they would burn themselves out but the damage would just be unbelievable um, I do believe Jerry Brown has already requested emergency funding federal funding for this fire i guess he has to request it for each individual fire so i don't know if he's declared a state of emergency on these individual ones you could probably find that out um, so here's a little more on the rye fire uh, So this just happened yesterday, Tuesday morning at 9.33, wow, and already, you know, just unbelievable. Okay, so they're saying follow the sheriff for road closures and follow Highway Patrol Twitter. You know, are you uh, signed up to all these different Twitter feeds for your prepping? It would not be... In fact, it would almost make sense to have just a complete prepper Twitter account and then follow your local sheriffs, your local highway patrol, your local police department. Um, just because if they're updating their Twitter, you know, that could be a really convenient source of information. As I've found in the last several minutes of looking, finding all this fire stuff, you know, it's not impossible, but it does take a little bit of work. Like, there's not a map like this for every incident. This is a really, really nice map. Um, but not every, you know, I'm sure there is a map, but it's not necessarily available to the public at this time for every incident. So even with technology being what it is, um, somebody still has to make the map, approve the map, put the map on the website, link to the website. You know, it still takes humans to, to go through this work. It'd be nice if we could automate a little bit of it, um, but at any rate. So lots of fires, you know, this one was a couple days ago, this one was just recently, this one is pretty recently, this one is just very recently. Uh, this last one, by the way, is the Skirball fire, S-K-I-R-B-A-L-L, -L. and this, I believe, has closed uh, 405 temporarily, you know, it's, uh, it's right here, so... And you can hear the sirens in the backgrounds, I don't know if they're a fire truck going to something but um, in fact let's take a quick look at the traffic oh come on oh gosh did you see that yeah 